You're out in the woods enjoying a nice day in nature and you going down the trail and you come across an angry bear. What do you do? You reach into your bag and pull out your trusty Higo no Kami. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's more like it. Pull out the code steel extra large Voyager. Yeah, I think that'll do the job. Let's take a look at the Voyager. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Cards and Sharps. All right, we are looking at the Code Steel Voyager Extra Large Vaquero. And this is uh, quite a lot of knife. Those of you who uh, been watching my channel, uh, you can go back and look. I had done a review on the Code Steel Spartan which is a similarly sized knife and similarly styled knife at that. All right. Let's uh, take a look at the, the Voyager Vaquero and see what makes this knife up. All right, it is. As you can see here on the blade, it's all, all 10, which is a... Nice, fair, mid-range uh, steel, um, which is uh, suitable in the price range this knife comes in at. Uh, you're getting a lot of knife here for uh, around the $70 range. So I'm going to say uh, that makes it, you know, suitable steel for the price range for the, for the knife you're getting. It's a lot of steel in this uh, blade, so... Uh, Imagine something like an S30V or S35VN or something like that. How much something like that would cost in, a, in that much uh, metal. All right, overall, you're looking at a little over a foot. And you can see it's bigger than my frame on my camera. It is 12.25 uh, inches overall with a 5.5 inch blade. And a 6.75 inch handle, uh, which is uh, what made of what uh, Code Steel calls Griv X, which just seems uh, pretty similar to what you see in some other products that are fiberglass reinforced nylon. Um, has a pretty much same feel to it. Has a nice aggressive uh, pattern in it that gives it an, a good grip. Got a stone washed blade and lock back design with tilt up carry. And you can do it left or right. As you can see, uh, you got the hose over here so you can flip that uh, clip over, which actually you do not use this clip. It comes with a clip with a diff to curve going the opposite direction so that you can uh, mount it over here for, for the lefties to carry. It's a knife that's made in Taiwan and feels the feels like well built. Uh, it's very tight. Uh, there's no play at all in the blade. The lockback works very smooth and there is pretty much dead on center. You can't get much uh, more center than that. It has a nice free action to it does have thumb studs for uh, thumb open. Uh, personally, I'd say you want to be really careful trying to flip it open uh, because with that much mass, if you do not, and the strength of the spring that has to be on this, if you do not get a really good go on that flip, uh, things will come back and be like a guillotine and if you got any portion of your fingers in that in that path it'll slice you a nice uh, chunk off your fingertip 
All right. Well, what what would this knife be good to use for? Uh, well, obviously, uh, if you carry that and you want to carry it for self defense, uh, whether you're out in the woods and you encounter a wild animal, whether it be a bear or or any any critter out there, or if you're in town and you're venturing down a dark alley and uh, somebody comes out of the dark and threatens you definitely would be a good uh, self-defense uh, with the shape of the blade the size of the blade the way the handle you, your hand can grip the handle it's got this nice groove here get your fingers in there you get a nice good firm purchase on that you can either slash or stab with it and it's going to be effective either way now you can see that curve in that blade if you come down on something and you come down you cut in and you pull this way that's that blade is the shape of that blade is going to make it cut down in deep so uh, slashing actions would be very effective with it uh, you just slash and pull and you're going to uh, do a lot of damage uh, it's a beefy enough knife that if you take it out to the woods, uh, you can use it pretty much for anything uh, you would need. Uh, whether you want to do a little chopping of some uh, limbs or whittling some wood or whatever, that will be uh, enough material there to get pretty much anything done you need to get done. Cut some rope, uh, whatever. Build a log cabin. You name it. All right, jimping. We love our jimping here. And it's got just a little bit built into the uh, handle material. Um, enough that you can, you know it's there, but you're not really, I don't really know that it's uh, going to give you a lot of extra grip. But the way the handle grooves are, you can see either large hands going to be up in the here medium size would be in this area here and it you know I, I feel like I get a really good uh, purchase on that and I don't feel like the the jumping is really or lack of is causing me any control issues because you did such a good grip on that handle but it is uh, quite the knife I'm going to me it's more like a pocket sword because once you unfold it you've got a, a small sword in your hand now with that blade being five and a half inches long sorry folks in the areas where you have a three inch uh, limit uh, you are not going to be able to carry that in your pocket uh, also in those areas you probably aren't able to carry a, a firearm either because uh, some states just do not want you to be able to protect yourself um, but I guarantee if you're going down a dark alley and mr. bad guy jumps out at you with a pipe or ball bat or a or a knife of some sort and you present this um, most likely they're going to run because uh, there is no way you're going to battle somebody with this in their hand and not come away hurt uh, you, even if you prevail you're going to be hurting this this will put some hurt on you for sure all right uh, Final thoughts, I'm going to say for the cool factor, definitely I love it. Um, you know, you want to carry that with you when you're going to have a gear check with the guys and and whip that out and impress. Uh, yeah, really good. Is it something I would carry in my pocket every day? No. Uh, I'm more of a Rat two size guy myself for pocket, um, but 
you know, that's just me. I like the not feel like I got a a brick in my pocket when I'm walking around. But is it, I could see uh, folks that you know if you have some cargo pants on, it, you could easily get it carry it in a pocket and probably would not bother you uh, too much. It's not for the size it is that the weight doesn't feel that overbearing. It is 7.85 ounces, so it is a heavy knife, but with the size of it, it's, uh, that weight is distributed such that it doesn't appear to be that heavy. All right, that is my thoughts on the Code Steel Voyager Extra Large by Caro. Let me know what you think of it. Have you uh, carried these, or would you carry it? Uh, I know when I did the Spartan, I had a couple of folks uh, comment and say that they do carry it and have no problem with it. So I'd like to hear from you, see what you think. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, as we're getting closer to 100 subscribers, I do have a 100 subscriber giveaway planned. Uh, I did a video on that, show you the items. It'll be a little, a uh, couple of little uh, nice products. So be watching for that. Keep track of uh, where I'm at on subscriptions. And when I get to 100, be watching for that. All right, that's all I got. We'll see you guys next time.